In today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about coaching and mentoring. Every employee inside of your organization has something to offer, regardless of the generation that they're a part of, regardless of the life stage that they're in. And this is why mentoring can flow both ways, with younger employees mentoring older employees or with older employees mentoring younger employees. And this is a little bit counterintuitive to the way that most organizations structure and believe in mentoring. Because the traditional concept of mentoring is usually always about taking a older, more experienced employee and pairing them up with somebody who is more junior and less experienced. But in this new world of work, what we're starting to see is that mentoring, again, goes both ways. And when mentoring goes the other way, meaning a younger employee is mentoring an older employee, typically we refer to this as reverse mentoring, because again, it's going against the traditional grain of what mentoring typically is and what it looks like. Jack Welsh, the former CEO of GE, was one of the first executives to implement this concept of reverse mentoring. And what he did was take 500 employees who were a little bit younger and more junior entry level and paired them up with executives who were older and more senior. And the goal of this reverse mentoring program was for the younger employees, those who have been at the company for just a short amount of time, to teach the older executives about technology and how to use technology inside of their lives and inside of their organization. Jack Welsh actually had a great quote, and he said, we tipped the organization upside down. We now have the youngest and brightest employees mentoring the oldest. Reverse mentoring is not only a great way to build trust and collaboration, but of course it's a wonderful way for us to also share ideas inside of our organization. In fact, reverse mentoring is a fantastic way to break through any type of generational stereotypes that might exist inside of your company. Companies who also practice reverse mentoring will notice that their teams tend to be more collaborative. And that's because you have different people from different backgrounds and generations who are more closely working together instead of having those pockets of teams inside of your organization that are grouped together based on age. And we've all seen those types of teams in our companies. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.